Hi, hello. Uh, this is Jayant here. I just thought I'll uh, make a video uh, reviewing the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, the reason I'm doing is uh, the reason I'm doing this video is like um, for the past one and a half years I've been like reading a lot. I used to read ever since I was a kid, but for the past uh, year or year and a half I've been reading a lot. Uh, so before I decide which book to read, I usually uh, look for a video of somebody reviewing the book to think that uh, uh, is it worth spending my time in. So I just thought I'll do one for people who are like me. Okay, so getting into the book, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Um, it says best number one bestseller number one finance book of all time okay as you can see here um the reason i came about this author is uh, i saw a ted talk about him okay and uh, i thought he was he knew what he was talking about first of all and uh, as usual uh, when i scrolled down below to see the comments there were like uh, uh, there were people who were like uh, Praising him so much, and there were others who were like uh, telling this guy's a con artist, he's a scam guy, so on, etc. etc. But I always feel that uh, if you if you put out, I mean, if you are successful uh, over uh, over uh, an extent, the haters come naturally. So I thought um, I should give this book a try, and. Um, even before I started reading, uh, whenever I used to go to a bookstore or a gift shop, I used to see this book translated in all languages, Hindi, Tamil, etc, etc. So I just wanted to give it a try. About this book, um, it says what the rich teach their kids about money, what um, that the poor and the middle class do not. Okay. Um, as the name suggests, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, the author, when he was little, um, he seems to have uh, he seems to have seems to have had two fathers. One of them was uh, his own dad, okay, and the other is um, his friends his friend's father. His own dad is the poor dad, and his friend's dad is the rich dad. Okay, both of them have. Um, several uh, contradicting views uh, one of them believes that uh, you should get a job it is a privilege to work for the government uh, he uh, he feels that you should work hard for money and having too much money is uh, um, is a bad thing uh, what all i just said now are the qualities or uh, or the beliefs of the poor dad, which is the author's own dad, and his friend's dad is the rich dad. Okay, um, rich dad has completely contradicting views. Like he believes that uh, uh, jobs are for suckers. Um, a very high degree of education is unnecessary, and uh, money is good, and you should open businesses. And uh, it's not that you have to work hard for money, but uh, you should have um, financial education. The poor dad believes that all education is in school. The rich dad believes uh, education doesn't stop in school. Okay. So this is what what I just said. Now is the first chapter. It's um, it just goes uh, like uh, the author just recalls some of his. Some of his childhood ex experiences. One thing that Mr. Kiyosaki uh, says again and again and again in this book is um, we are taught a lot of things in school algebra, trigonometry, science, chemistry, etc. etc. But we know we are never taught how to handle our finances. Or handle our money we have there is a lack of financial education in school 
um that is why even when people come out of college with good grades they fail miserably when they come to when it comes to handling the finances okay that is one thing which is told over and over and over in this book there is one more important thing which is uh, told in this book um uh, which i feel that everybody should know um the author tells us um talks a lot about cash flow how the money flows like um he he talks about four elements which is uh, income income is what you get okay your salary etc not only your salary but what whatever money comes in next you have expenses uh which you spend then the third is assets assets are your investments can be stocks bonds real estate etc things which consistently give money okay over a period of time then you have liabilities liabilities are uh, um things which uh, you have to pay money for like um, except for example you bought a house on a loan and um, you have to pay a certain amount every month okay you get what i'm saying okay so <coughs> um so you have uh, income expenses assets and liabilities okay uh, the author says that uh, the poor they don't uh, they struggle the poor the poor people struggle to manage their expenses okay the middle class people most of us in general he says that we get confused between our assets and our liabilities which means that we think something is an asset but it is actually a liability so the middle class uh, um is unable to differentiate between the asset and the liability um and the rich okay they are able to find they are able to know the difference between what is an asset and what is a liability and invest intelligently on assets okay um if it i try to give you a short explanation of it but um, i hope you understood as uh, i think uh, you should uh, you should check out the book okay especially for this concept you should check out the book and um, anything else stuff about this book is like um, i'll just give you a few hints like um, the author says uh, um you should get out of a job as quick as possible and uh, you should uh, open a business he calls this concept of being in a job as a rat race okay um he talks about investing a lot and he talks about investing in such a way that the income from our assets should um, exceed that from our expenses okay so you he talks about investing intelligently that you reach a point in which your investments give you more mo- more money than your income okay at that at that point of time he says that a person will be able to escape the so called rat race and he can do whatever the hell he wants okay so he says this as financial independence okay and uh, he says that um, and he talks all about what rich people do to save the money like um, he talks a lot about uh, corporations like um, uh, from what i read uh, in this book it says that corporations get taxed little compared to uh, normal people one more important thing which um, i agree a lot with what mr kiyosaki said here is he says that uh, we've been taught in school that we should uh, work hard to get rich the only the only way to get rich is work hard put in time put in effort put in the sweat i believe that uh, we should put in the sweat but he um, but the author here says that uh, um 
that concept is outdated he says that um, instead of working hard you need to work smart you need to make smart investments making smart investments you can earn a lot in uh, earn much more than uh, toiling at a job okay he's given a lot of examples um real life examples of what he has gone through in uh, making money um some of the terms even i could not understand like uh, i'm not a real estate guy so i wasn't able to understand it but um, i think i'll uh, i'll have to go through it once again then um, the seven the the first seven chapters are are all about um, financial advice and the last three chapters okay uh, robert kiyosaki turns into a, a miniature anthony robbins it's all about life advice telling uh, have a good circle of friends learn to take risks and uh, learn learn a lot learn a lot learn a lot read read stuff get to know a lot of things that's what uh, is the last three chapters about okay the final word on the book i feel that um, um there is a lot of hype over this book okay it's been out since 1997 and it's still selling well okay um if you think this is the book if you read these 250 pages and you think um you're going to turn up rich i don't think uh, i think uh, you are a lazy person first of all if you have that kind of thoughts okay um but this book is um, is good because um um most of us are clueless okay uh a lot of people want to do want to become rich but they have no idea where to start or um, this book helps you shift your uh, perspective on on certain things you should definitely read it definitely and uh, this book um is a good start okay for beginners the uh, language is fairly simple uh you will be able to understand it except for uh, the real estate terms given in the examples okay and um, i this book personally for me has uh, stirred my curiosity to learn a lot more about him and he's been talking about uh, a game called cash flow in it i'm like i'm looking forward to playing playing I mean playing that and uh, so about it i i didn't know like uh, this is my first time doing such kind of a video so i don't have a proper setup and no to do graphics and shit but um, i hope i was able to give you some info on it uh, do read the book it's good okay um leave some um, thoughts about uh, about the review as well and uh, do let me know if i should uh, do any other books you want and yeah like comment share subscribe thank you bye